Welcome to Whiskey Whistle. I'm the host of the show, Mark, and you're watching Whiskey Review number 197. That's right, 197, and that is the Macallan 12-year-old Fine Oak. Fine Oak, if you're not sure, well, this one has been matured in three types of casks, and those are sherry, an ex-sherry cask. Uh, also, uh, American oak casks seasoned with sherry and finally also American oak casks seasoned with bourbon so three types of casks European sherry American sherry and then American bourbon all X casks of course uh, the color well let's have a look at that first let me get it poured and yes you can see the 17 still on my little setup here there we are This one also has a very, very nice, uh, nice bottle style, uh, interesting color selection. Uh, color selection. This is kind of a powder metallic blue, which I quite like. The whole series is well, uh, well, um, well designed color wise for the packaging. Anyway, now let's have a look at the color first of all for the Macallan Fine Oak 12 year old. Here we are. So what have we got here? We have pretty much a standard gold hue. A very nice golden color. And I'm not using my Macallan glass because it's still, I've got the Macallan glass right there with the 17 year old in it. Uh, watch until the end so you see what's going to happen with that. So this other uh, Glencairn glass of mine uh, things seem, seem to stick to the sides of the glass much better than uh, the Macallan. The Macallan is virtually um, almost like Teflon in there. Nothing sticks, but look at this one. You get a lot of um, beading on the glass. And uh, the legs on this one, we didn't talk about that for the 17, that's okay. Can't remember everything all the time. And we've got fairly quick legs and then it just seems to drop down, leaving that uh, that mess on the glass there. And I like that mess. This mess tells me that um, the whiskey has some heavier sorts of uh, juicy bits in it. Now it's 40% ABV, so it should be a little bit more watery. So watery than um, the other ones, which are 43. Uh, yeah, right. 40%. This is 40%. The other ones are 43. Is that what I just said? I don't know. All right. Anyway. So be that as it may, leaves a bit of mess on the glass. Uh, don't be alarmed. That's a good thing, I think. Okay, let's get on to the nose. First of all, we'll have a very short word from the YouTube sponsors right here. Welcome back. The Macallan Fine Oak 12-year-old. Let's check out the nose. Again, very much gingered ginger gingerbread graham crackers now that's a little unusual for the Macallan to smell like graham crackers so there's probably a lot more bourbon uh, ex bourbon casked uh, Macallan in here uh, than the other two although there's still some fruitiness in there what kinds of fruits are we talking about well a little bit of mild strawberry so that's probably from the sherry influence but I also get lots of honey some smoked honey uh, again a little bit of new paper and I wrote here almond croissants but then I crossed out the almonds and I put in pine nut pine nut croissants a bit of pine essence also and Yeah, when you do that, when you increase the surface area of the evaporating whiskey by rolling it around in the glass and then putting it to your nose, that's when you'll notice the strawberry-esque scents. So keep that in mind, okay? So just get, you know, roll it around 
get more whiskey evaporating all over your glass and that way you'll get a little bit more of that scent coming through. All right, on to the palate. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Big on the honey. There's a little bit of strawberry jam. Some raw nuts in there. Raw uh, peeled almonds. Some... Uh, raw Brazil nuts, raw filberts or uh, hazelnuts or whatever, whatever they're called. There's a little bit of peat in there, more so than the 17, less so than the 15. And I wrote here that this seems younger to me. Well, obviously it should seem younger than the 17. It should seem younger than the 15. But I also feel that there's something that tells me that this is under matured compared to the regular sherry 12 year old and the new 12 year old double cask which is all sherry but just European oak and American oak uh, that has stored uh, sherry uh, sherry wine from Spain for a period of time so something in this The longer I keep it in the mouth, in my mouth, the more sharp it gets. Um, it gets dry and then it fades a bit, kind of fades right out of your range of perceptible flavor. It's just gone. Mm-hmm. And then it's gone. It's like that sh um, astringent dryness kind of takes over. The finish, I'm getting a little bit of light, uh, uh, light honey, almost more like an agave syrup, peat, again some nuts, especially oily pine nuts. Now, the finish is very oily with this whiskey, which is interesting, with this scotch whiskey, this single malt scotch whiskey. So we'll call it a dry oiliness. Um, what remains in my, in my mouth now, though, is uh, a sharpness and a little bit of an alcohol, alcoholish kind of a, a heat, we'll call it. All right, time to add a bit of water here. Now, this is really cumbersome. I don't like what I've done here. Oh, well. Careful. There we go. Now I added a fair bit of water there and I did that because uh, I think I think I think it needs it I think it needs a bit of water in order to um, enjoy this to the maximum of its uh, ability which uh, I don't think is really um, very astounding in, in its ability we'll leave it at that Okay, let's get that mixed up. Bit of strawberry there, not much else in the way of sherry. So I don't know what percentage of European sherry uh, casks there were. That was very minimal. Uh, American sherry casks also fairly on the minimal side. Or perhaps the sherry just really hadn't aged all that long in the... Uh, uh, in the uh, the barrel but the bourbon oh yeah lots of bourbon in there ginger I still couldn't quite say cinnamon vanilla is coming through here on the nose So I'll tell you right away, if you are a bourbon lover and you're looking for a whiskey, a scotch whiskey, a scotch, a single malt that you'd like to try, but you don't know what to try, I think that would be a good one for a bourbon lover. 
Okay, now I wrote here that it coaxes a little bit more of this honey or smoked honey, um, coaxes it out of it, a little bit more sherry influence, but again, it's that just that subtle strawberry. Um, honey and graham crackers are coming through a lot more, and again, a bit of cherry pits. All right, on to the palate. Cheers. Let's taste it now. Mmm. Now, I write here much more strawberry jam. Yes. Um, the raw nuts are still there. Peat, yep, yeah, it's still there also. Now I added a fair bit of water. When I had added just a couple of drops and left it for long enough to mix up, I still got kind of a prickly, young, sort of biting kind of a um, sensation on my tongue. So I wrote here that it's prickly, sharp, um, but uh, kind of like a, uh, a smoke. Hmm. Anyway, uh, alcohol sharpness, you get the idea. Um, the finish. Hmm. Go away, fruit fly. There's this, again, this alcohol sharpness kind of a feeling left in my mouth. A little bit more of this dry oiliness, which I do like. Um, and I wrote here in my notes that my, my, my mouth feels numb after this. A little bit of nutty essence, but it really kind of numbs my mouth with its um, astringency and dryness. Hmm. Uh, final comment. If you've got uh, enough time to wait, there's big improvements, um, positive improvements that happen over time. So if you can wait long enough, pour it, let it breathe, add a bit of water, give it some time, lots of time. Uh, I think there's a lot of um, improved balance that comes through with water for this one. Now my question to you though is, who can wait that long? Seriously? Not me. Nope, I can't. All right, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score. We'll have a short word from the YouTube sponsors right here. Welcome back. The Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score now for the Macallan 12 year old fine oak. What's that going to be? Well, it's going to be 81 out of 100. That's right, 81 out of 100. That's the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for the Macallan 12 year old fine oak. And I wrote here that this underperforms. Now I wonder, perhaps. Might this have been a bad batch? I wonder. I, I find that this is really lacking in balance. Um, it is uh, far inferior, uh, much, in, much inferior to MAC-12 Sherry and also the double cask, both of which I gave the same score, which was 87. And uh, I don't think that I will buy this again. No, I will not. Now, um, let me just add a little bit more breadth to uh, my score for you so that you can make a decision on your own. And that is going to be, there we go, Mac 12, Fine Oak, 12 year old. I said that already. Here we are. Buy it on sale. Okay? Uh, if you're in Korea, you can get this for 60,000 won. 
You can get it at eMart Traders. Uh, you can also get it uh, relatively readily at um, places like Namdaemun. I believe the malt shop also carries and uh, perhaps also uh, wine and more. Okay, anyway, uh, is this available in Winnipeg? No, I don't think it is. It might be. It should be available all over the U.S. as far as I know. All right, so there we go. Macallan 12-year-old fine oak. Buy it on sale. <laughs> okay, now that's probably about as honest as I've been um, on the channel with uh, with the whiskey. Um, uh, and that might be how I wonder. Is that the lowest score for a single malt that I've given? Now, I initially gave it 80, and I gave it that extra point because, as I said, if you wait long enough, there are some rewards to be found. All right, well, one more thing I want to do. Just hang on, I forgot one glass. Let me get a glass. 